welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new around here, we have recently renovated and moved into our new home. And today's video is going to be a living room transformation video. I did do a empty house tour of the property if you wanna see what the whole property looked like when it was empty. But I'm not gonna be doing a whole house renovation video. I'm gonna do rooms at a time, because um, otherwise it'd be really long-winded. So yeah, today I am focusing on the lounge. And if you're into renovation vlogs and stuff like that, the playlist for all of those videos will be linked in the description box down below. So from the clip you're about to watch, it might seem like the transformation was pretty simple, but it wasn't just a case of like slap some paint on the walls. Because of the age of the property and like the general condition that it was in, there was quite a lot of work involved in getting the room in tip-top condition and to the state it's in now. But I'm so pleased with how everything's turned out and all the hard work paid off. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking you through the entire process in today's video. Without further ado, let's get into that before footage. Right, so I'm currently standing in the doorway to the living room as this is the approach as you like enter the room. And if you've been following the journey, you'll know that we've actually gutted the entire house. So I think that the most methodical way of like giving you a true reflection of the, this room transformation is to begin by working from top to bottom. So you may have noticed in the before footage that you just saw that there was some lovely 60s Artex going up there on the ceiling. So all the ceiling has been newly plastered and the coving's been refitted. Because the property that we took over was empty, we weren't like living here at the time, we were in a really fortunate position to be able to get this done and it has made a huge, huge difference. I mean, obviously that 60s Artex ceiling's really dated, so being able to get the ceilings done and the coving as well has brought the room back to a contemporary style and it just cleans the appearance up so much more like having freshly plastered ceilings and coving. Obviously we've stripped all that old wallpaper from the walls and we spent a good while rectifying what was left underneath. The walls in this room weren't too bad compared to like the other rooms in the house if you watched the renovation vlogs you might have seen um, but we still did have to do quite a bit of work to get the walls good. The paint that's on the walls is called Cloudburst from Crown. Now I think that finding a grey paint is quite difficult sometimes and um, it's a difficult colour to pick from and uh, we did choose from quite a few samples and I mean some can be like a bit wish washy like a white grey and some can be too too dark and then some can be like blue toned uh, but as you can see uh, Cloudburst does like lean sort of a little bit like lilac-y um, but from what you're about to see of this room that works really well with our colour palette anyway 
So when I was choosing the colours for the walls in this room, because um, I mean most of the rooms in this house are white so I didn't have to do this too much, um, I was working with a fabric swatch from the sofa because we got we chosen our sofa material and I was working with a carpet sample and also a sample from the curtains so if you're choosing a paint it's always good to be able to work with some sort of fabric that's going to be in the room so you can see if the colours work well together. Right moving on to the main feature of the lounge which in my opinion is definitely the fireplace. As you can see we've replaced the old electric one and we were really lucky that we were able to get an open fire fitted here which I was so so happy about. I think that the surround is absolutely stunning and it obviously makes a big difference to what was here before. Um, the detailing is just gorgeous and it's really, really got an elegant sort of look to this um, mantle. And I just think that the marble against the black works so nicely. It just makes a really lovely statement. It's sort of like classic while still being cosy, which is definitely the sort of vibe that we go for. Um, I can't actually tell you about the mantle too much because it was from a local shop but I mean if you go online there are loads of styles like this that are available out there. Um, we haven't actually got round to lighting the fire as of yet because we're sort of like at the end of winter now and it's not really been a very cold one here in the south east this year. Um, plus I do need to buy a fire guard because obviously we've got a pug and we've got a baby on the way um, but I'm looking forward to getting that fire lit really soon or maybe maybe next winter <laughs> the wallpaper on the chimney breast is from laura ashley and it's their wild meadow pale iris print now i fell in love with this pattern so long ago now i just fell in love with the fact that it's so soft and romantic and it was actually what i've styled the entire room around and it was the first item that i bought for this house the wallpaper because i saw it back in the summer last year and i just knew i wanted it in our new house as you'll see we've also got the curtain material in the same print actually had a radiator under the window lucky enough um at, this is one of the first jobs that we did we actually have moved the radiator so that it's behind the sofa so that you don't come into the room and see a radiator on the wall and i think because we've got the open fire it won't matter too much that our sofa is sort of in front of the radiator and we also got rid of another radiator there was a, there was two radiators originally in this room um, so we got rid of the small one because I thought we don't need two radiators and an open fire so we've now got a piece of furniture in front of where the old radiator used to be that we don't have anymore so another thing that I think has made a huge difference in this living room is the fact that we've changed the door in this room and I just think that these glass doors are absolutely gorgeous and they open up the space so much more downstairs because obviously they're like full of glass and they let in a lot of light and it just makes the space seem so much more open and big and I just think that the wooden oak effect door is just gorgeous and it obviously goes with sort of the furniture that we've got in this room and stuff. Um, the door is actually from Howden's which is where we bought our kitchen so we got that all in one go. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the door is but I'll try and link it in the description below if you're interested and then we've got like the chrome door handle to finish it off and all the architrave around the door is new too. This also leads me quite nicely on to the skirting so we're back down we've worked all the way from the ceiling now down to the bottom of the room um, the skirting is also brand new we've had all new skirting in the house and um, I just think that it's really freshened up the room and it's sort of a lot more modern this skirting and it just everything complements each other in this room I think really well that was what we did in the decorating of this room uh, the main jobs as you'll see so now I'm just going to run through you how we've sort of styled this room so as I said we've got a brand new sofa in this living room we weren't actually able to bring our old sofa from the previous house because it was so big we literally we barely got it into the old house we had to take the door frame off and there was no way that I was taking off our brand new door frames of this house to get it in plus I did have a completely new vision for our living room and I wanted a new sofa so the sofa is also from Laura Ashley it's their Kingston sofa it's the 
I think it's called the Grand Sofa. So it's like a two-seater, but it's a big two-seater. So you can definitely get more than one person on it at a time. And my mum actually made the uh, cushions, not the grey ones. She's made these ones out of the leftover curtain fabric, which I think look really lovely against the sofa. And then the two grey soft cushions are from Primark. Um, I've only just bought these recently because obviously we're on a bit of a budget after we've just done the house up. But I wanted to add a little bit of like soft texture into the living room. So eventually I'll probably get some other sort of like fluffy because I really like that um, distressed fluffy look of pillows. Um, but yeah, we're not really it, looking to buy pillows at the moment. Mostly, we don't have our sofa looking like this very often because we do have a throw over it as well because we've got a dog. Um, but this is what it looks, this is what it should look like without the throw. But obviously it's better to protect your sofa with um, blankets and stuff when you've got pets and a child on the way. Um, the mirror above the sofa. Now, I think it is a little bit too high. I thought this mirror was going to be a lot bigger than it was. Um, so we're leaving it there for the time being because that there was actually like this hole in the wall that we left there uh, on purpose because we knew we'd be hanging something above the sofa but it's not really quite right at the moment but we are going to leave it up I mean I'm just wish that it was a little bit bigger that mirror and it'd be perfect because it goes really nicely with the marble fireplace and it does look nice in the room but it's just a little bit too high up really and these are the curtains that my mum has very kindly made for us and I just think they are beautiful I love the way that this room has all worked out um, they're really long as you can see and they're quite heavy and we had to make them quite long because I wanted the tassel um, tie back sort of thing and you can't really have something like that on short curtains but I just think it looks really really elegant um, and eventually we're going to replace the windows and they're going to be like an oak colour so this room is going to be changed again but yeah that's what the curtains look like the curtain pole is from dunelm i think it's called the ashton curtain rail or something like that i'll try and leave links below if you're interested um but i just think the chrome looks really nice in this room and then the lights the wall lights they're new um, we bought them to match the ceiling light which we already had in the old house but the wall lights are new because we didn't have wall light fittings in the original house and they look really beautiful when the evening's lit up because they've got this sort of like woodland shadowing that they create all around the room I'll try and insert a clip, clip of that later or if not you might have seen it in my vlogs or stay tuned for more vlogs at the new house um and then on the mantle, I've just got some like Laura Ashley. The candle holders are from Laura Ashley. Um, Oliver has bought me this orchid recently, and it just goes really, really nicely with the wallpaper. Actually, it looks lovely. And then we've just got the like um, thing that you like sweep up the mess from the chimney, and some Joe Malone matches in a Joe Malone jar which is like one of their christmas candles that i burnt out years ago uh, the little pine cone is something that we got on our first holiday together in italy and oliver was desperate to throw it away but i just cannot part with it because i mean we brought that back from sorrento and then i've just got this candle on the left here i've got no idea where this is from but i'm obsessed with it it's really beautiful as you can see, it's got like a pretty pattern on it. Photo frames are Vera Wang. Uh, we got the little one here as a wedding present and um, the big one that we've had since we've lived together. Then on the coffee table, again, I'm not completely finished styling this coffee table because, you know, at the moment we've spent all our money and um, styling the room isn't really top priority. So I'm sort of making do with what we had originally in this living room. Um, the tray is actually new from Laura Ashley. I got it in the January sale. I've wanted this for ages. I love this. Um, it's so elegant and classy. Um, and I've just put a Joe Malone candle and some more cones and some matches and stuff. And then we've got some coasters. The G&O, they were from Next Home quite a little while ago now. Um, the stag is from Marks and Spencers. That was one of their Christmas decorations. But we quite like um, stags all year round. And then I've got another Joe Malone candle, as you can see. And then we've got our F&M hamper in the corner of the room. I really like this here. Um, I'm, it probably won't stay there forever. We'll probably move it about. Like eventually I would like to get an armchair for this room and maybe put it in the corner. But uh, for the time being, the hamper's going to stay there. Because it goes really well with the furniture in this room. Um, all of the oak 
um, furniture is from Dunelm about three years ago. They don't sell it now, but you can still buy this sort of thing if you put in oak furniture online. Um, so I won't talk too much about the furniture because we did have that in the old house. And then in the corner of the room, we've just got this like cupboard here and our painting from the old house, which was a wedding present above the bit of furniture. And I've got the lamp to go with the rest of the wall, the lighting in this room and a diptyque candle. So, yeah, I pretty much think that's most of the kind of styling of the room done. Okay, so that is the room transformation video for you. If you've enjoyed this one, stay tuned because I am going to be doing the kitchen transformation video next as well if you like these sorts of videos. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye!